What's going on guys? My name is Dan Before Time and welcome back to DBT's adventure here in Boundless. In the last episode, we started work on our cave gardens and I wanted to show you guys what I have done since the last time we saw each other. So let's go ahead and take a look at that and then I'll explain to you guys what we're gonna be doing in this episode here today. So I'm very, very happy with this. As you guys could tell from the end of the last episode, I surprised myself. I added some more plants over here in the opening to kind of give it a little bit more light. And it's looking really, really nice down in here now with our little path. And um, I added some different accents. These serve also as little, um, little safeties so you don't fall off the edge on these random corners here. Um, as you can see, this keeps you from going off there, but it also provides some nice little glowing lighting along this path, which I think turned out really, really cool. It just, now you can see I put another little column like up and down here. It just adds so much to the space in terms of color and lighting, and I absolutely am in love with it. And I also, as you might notice, extended our um, padding and our flooring down here. And I went ahead and beaconed this all out and took it back through this cave system as well. And then it dumps us out right here behind the waterfall. Also put some nice glowing little bushes over here. And I extended our path all the way down to what will be our first little garden room. So very, very cool down here. I just, I love this space. I love this space so much and I'm so happy with how it's coming out. And um, we will definitely be continuing on this little project for a long time to come. But today I wanted to solve another problem, which is getting here from our island. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create um, a little bit of a bridge from here to there with a twist. And that twist is going to be, it's going to kind of be a mix between a submerged tunnel and a bridge. And I will kind of have to figure it out as we go along because I don't know exactly how we're going to get it done, but we are going to get it done. So um, I also, since the last time we met, went ahead, did a little bit of a shopping trip a tiny bit of a shopping trip. I bought some iron and I bought some sackcloth. That's going to allow us to create um, our first set of iron tools, which is going to be a lot um, more efficient for us in mining. So what I'm going to do is pull the iron hammer out. And I also created the iron fist, which is a kind of a perk for early access backers. And it's a bit of a it's a bit of a melee weapon a bit of a projectile weapon um, so we'll kind of test that out as well and I made an iron chisel and some iron axes so what we're gonna do is pull these into our inventory there we go here is our metamorphic stone smart stack 149 Ho I'm hoping that's enough but this is really like an instant craft anyway so that should be a very good start. And I went ahead and smelted a bunch of glass. We're gonna definitely need more glass than that to work with. So we will get some more of that going. Let me see if I have any sand. Um, I guess I don't have sand. You know what? Let me, um, let me make sure I have a shovel and we'll do a little side mish before we get going on this bridge and we'll go grab a bunch of sand from the desert that's right over here. And that will lead me to another thing that we're gonna get started on in, in the next episode or so, maybe today, depending on how much time we have, is I want to make a bridge from our little island over to this piece of land because I want an easy access way to get to the city and the portal hub and the rest of civilization out here. So let's get going and grab some sand, shall we? All right, so it looks pe like people have gone a little bit crazy with the terrain manipulation over here. This is called Asmar. This is where uh, the Portal Hub lives. It's part of the Portal Seeker network. 
Um, we will deal with that a little bit later. This is where we ended up with Scratch and Whiff, but we took a portal to get here, which um, is a little bit of a shortcut, but not really that necessary. Um, so here is a vast, what used to be a vast desert of basically only sand, but as you can see, people have basically <laughs> chopped it to hell. So we're going to, um, you know what? Just out of courtesy to, not that it matters anymore because this is already fug, but we're gonna go over here and gather some sand and then head back. All right, this is as good of a spot as any to get some sand, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab a whole bunch of this and then we will meet back up at the workshop, get this going in the smelter, and then we will start on our bridge. All right, sand has been acquired. We will put the sand. I don't know if it works from a smart stack, but we'll start. It does, okay. We got some more glass working there. This is gonna give us 49. Yeah, it's gonna give us 49 glass if we let it run the whole way, which I think we will. Um, so let's, we got, this actually worked out well. We got a little bit of daylight now, so we can go ahead and start working on this little tunnel slash bridge hybrid. So I'm gonna clear a little bit of this stuff out and then we're kinda gonna wing this as we go, which sounds just about right <laughs> for a DBT video. Um, so basically, Let's see, so we gotta keep this. I guess we could all, we gotta, we gotta be mindful of this water inlet for our, for our waterfall, but we can push that over one to the left, I believe. And then this is looking like it's soil. There we go. So that's cool, we can do that, and then that will allow us to come over one more over here. So what I'm thinking is, let's go ahead and get these purple blocks out of here so we can get a little bit of a visual idea of what we're working with. I want it to kind of um, blend right in to this. So let's put a block of floor down, nope. Let's get that out of there. Let's see if we can get these. I guess I didn't, I guess I did not pull. Oh, I did pull the iron axe. So let's get that in here. Let's stop messing around with these weakling tools. Um, where is, let's get that down here. All right, cool. I don't think I made an iron shovel, but that's okay. Um, so we have this, this is gonna be our walkway. And now we're going to have to submerge this, right? So let's get some of these broken out. Oh, this iron hammer is very, very nice. Let's make sure we are not killing ourselves. Okay, um, I think we're gonna have to go You know what I think we should probably do is see what this iron chisel does, though, to a block. Let's put one of those there, and then let's do this iron chizzy and see. Okay. Oh, interesting. So this can do corner blocks. All right. That's good to know. I don't know if we're going to if we're gonna necessarily be messing with that today, but... Um, the slope. I need to figure out what chisel does the complete. Com I think that is the copper chisel, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go grab our copper chisel. Okay, copper chisel secured. Let's go ahead and place another block. And then we will copper chisel that. That is, that's what we're looking for. Okay, we need that slope. So cool. Let me take this back up. 
And now we will... Uh, we're gonna put two wooden blocks here and slope them down, is what I'm thinking. I guess we could do three. Should we do three wide? Three wide looks pretty nice, actually. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll stick with that. So let's do... Like that. Okay, so that's that's pretty solid. Um, I might be going about this all the wrong way too, but we'll figure that out. Let me think this through for just a second. Okay, yeah. So what we're gonna do? I removed the. I I went ahead and removed the wood for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, and this will make sense in a second. I hope. I really hope. So let's do, we'll do the top first and get the, at least the outline of the bridge marked out. I think that's probably a smart place to start. Smarter than any, as smart as we're gonna get on this channel anyway. There we go. Now we got the semblance of a bridge going. Told you guys we'd get there. And then what we're gonna do is start filling this in. And let's go. We're gonna have to clear some of this out here. This is gonna be really fun with, there we go. Um, we're gonna have to come up with a lighting solution under here, or we're gonna have to wait for, uh, Let's see what happens with when you put raw gleam underwater, shall we? That's gonna work. That will definitely work for us. Let's put some on the outside over here. We gotta make sure we come back and get that too. So that will definitely give us enough to work with. So what I'm gonna do is fill this in with this metamorphic stone and then I'll come back and show you guys what we're thinking. All right guys, so after many, many attempts and derps, we finally got our bridge laid out and let me show you guys what we did. We built basically a solid block that is five blocks, five blocks deep and four blocks wide. And basically what this whole experiment was is an experiment in water displacement. So what we're going to be able to do now is theoretically knock these middle blocks out and then this will create a wall that seals out the water. And this will give us, this will basically allow us to have an underground walkway. So one thing that I want to do before we even get started so we don't have to redo it is grab this glass. We have 39, I think that's definitely 40. We have 40 now, that's definitely gonna be enough to get started. So we're gonna put this in our, gonna switch this over, there we go. And what we're gonna do is do two of these as, well, you know what? Nope, that's gonna be too big of a pain. So what we're gonna do is drill into it and then we will place blocks on the outside of it and then be able to place the glass. It'll make sense later, trust me. So, uh, or I mean, you, there's no really no reason to trust me. So let's go ahead and start our slow, that's not at all what I wanted to do. We're going to put another block down in there, and then we're going to slope this down like that. And then what we're going to have to do is knock these out, because this is going to be kind of a newer entrance spot for us to come in. So these two... Why is there water there? Why? That's not supposed to be there. Did I already fail? Hmm. Okay, we might have to take another break 
from this broadcast. So let's see if we can fill this in real quick. I got four stones left. There we go. Let's see if we can figure out why. Why. We might have to start this project all over again. Nope, there we go. We got it done. Okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So let's knock. We're going to go two down. So the glass is going to start here. We're going to need to fill some of these in. So let's go ahead and knock these top two layers out because we know these are not going to be our surface to walk on. Yeah, this is feeling cool. This is feeling cool already. It's going to be like not hidden, but definitely a low key way to get where we need to go. One more and we have to figure out where this is going to start dipping down. We'll leave it right here. Okay, this is pretty cool, so we're gonna go one more. So let's do, let's see how this wood looks. There we go, okay, it cuts out the blend. Uh, yeah, that works. Um, so this, we can dip down. Yeah, so this is gonna definitely have to be replaced. Let's see if we can do this without flooding it. We can, very, very cool. The, the boundless gods are with me on that one today. Um, this is going to have to be replaced. Let's block this off first to not cause ourselves any unnecessary pain. Let's go ahead and put that there. And now we can let the water flow freely again. Okay, I like that. This is... that looks like it's blocked behind it. Yep, it is. Oh, give me that yam. Give me that yam. Do I not have any inventory space? I don't have any freaking inventory space. All right, yam can stay there. There we go. Cool. Um, yeah, now we're looking good. We're looking good. Um, so let's take this down one more. Need... Do we need one row of glass or do we need two rows of glass? Who are we kidding? We definitely... We definitely need two rows of glass. Actually, maybe we should leave this here because this is going to be, this will technically be one more. Then this will be ground floor of the wood. There we go. So we can knock this out. That should leave us one more level of stone underneath. Ooh, did we, did we do this correctly? We'll find out. Yeah, there's water level, so we did do it correctly. And now we go ahead and place this, this. So now we can have two blocks of water viewage. That's cool. That's really cool. Um, there we go. Now we have to figure the ascent back up into here. But you can already tell this is looking cool. So we have a three block slope here. You know what we should do is put some of these torches on the wall while we're working because it's going to get pretty dark in here. There we go. Um, so three, three blocks up. One, two, three. Now we'll do this one will be our first block. So let's take, we'll, re, we'll, we'll kind of reverse engineer this, I'm thinking. This is actually two episodes in a row where it's going better than I expected. I, I don't know, I, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do, guys. We might have to change, uh, we might have to change our branding around a little bit. No, I'll do something for sure, for sure. That's average AF in this episode. That's a given. So that's two. Then this block right here will be three. There we go. Now we can knock these two out and that will give us the floor. Very, very cool. Wrong. See, there we go. Right, right back on brand. <laughs> All right. So that 
is definitely looking dope. And we got to definitely got to clean this up right here. But this is looking pretty dang cool. Now, I want to try a couple things with you guys as far as the slope. We're going to knock it out like that. Yep. And I think that is the one. So what that's going to do is give us a nice little, almost like an, nope, that is not what we want to do. We flooded that right back on brand. We have flooded. <laughs> we flooded our bridge, guys. All right, everybody, everybody can relax now and go back to There we go. We're going to give it a nice little infinity vibe here. All right. I'm liking the way that's looking immensely. All right. I like, I like a lot. So let's go like that, like that, like that, like that like that and like that then let's do there we go there we go let's make sure we hit the right spot on these so we don't get another flooding situation on our hands uh, like that and like that there we go so now it's like super incog I'm not sure actually I like it both ways I really like it looked very structural the way it was before with the full-on blocks so we're gonna leave it like this for the time being because it does look very cool um, and then what we're gonna do down here is try to mark out our spot for the glass and that is gonna go okay so we have Oh, I suppose we could just knock it out and place the glass in and it will it will erase the flooding effect, right? So let's try that. We'll put the glass here, we'll get our hammer going. Um, and we'll try, let's try this. Let's just try it. Um, so we're gonna do these two. There we go, yeah, that works. Nope, that's one too far. That's one. There we go. Okay, we got to reel that one back in. There we go. Um, that one was probably... Yeah, that one was unnecessary, right? So we'll put that one back. Leave that one. Then we start here. I'm really liking the way this is going so far, guys. And we're going to have to do some cleanup on the outside, obviously. There we go. So now we have a glass window to view our outside. So let's go ahead and let me clean some of this stuff up, and then we'll come back and take a look at how everything's going. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I'm not sure if you are because, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, kind of in love where this is going with where this is going. Look at this, our little sunken bridge tunnel, infinity tunnel, who knows what it's called, but we go down here we have the open windows on the side, so you can see the water flowing through there, looking very cool. Torches up top. You come up here. I made these little steps. We did some nice chisel work along these edges, and it connects right to our outer deck. And we can go right inside our nice little workshop. We'll walk it in reverse because it is oh so dope. Come out here 
hang a right, come down, little nice trail right into our zend out cave garden with the waterfall looking oh so beautiful i absolutely love it so it was a learning episode for me and hopefully it came across as a cool build for you guys thank you so much for watching today i'm having such a good time doing the series for you guys and the response so far and the love has been awesome and i thank you guys so much for it you guys make this fun to do with all of your comments and responses and feedback so drop me a comment let me know what you guys think of this build any ideas that you have for me going forward with our little cave gardens and it has been so fun make sure you leave a thumbs up if you liked it if you hated it drop a thumbs down as always I have been Dan before time, you guys have been awesome, and until next time, I am out like trout in a drought. Peace!